Come on. Very long conversation this one was. And like I said, uh, the quality might not be the absolute best, but it is passable. I think you could still read all of the dialogue. It's just unfortunately there's a bunch of tweaking that I'd have to do um, in order to get it to work correctly. Um, and I honest, I honestly don't know how to get it to work through OBS perfectly quite yet. So, um, I mean, there's some tweaking I could do, but since I wasn't planning on playing this on the PS4 originally anyway, I think the quality is good enough just to make sure, like, I, it's a miracle I got it working at the moment, so I don't want to push my luck and screw it up to where I can't get it all running. <clears throat> oh yeah, and you click and hold circle to run, by the way. Looks like they've been digging up the sidewalk, but since they're blocking my view, I can't quite see what they're doing. Hey lady, you need something? There's nothing to see here, so why don't you move along? Why should I? You said yourself there's nothing to see, after all. Bit of advice for you. If you're trying to keep someone out of your business, I wouldn't leave with nothing to see here. See? She thinks so, too. Every time you see nothing to see here, people stop and stare at us instead of actually moving along. Hmm, nothing to see here really does kind of make me want to look more, you know? Kind of sinister. Nothing to see here. That's what cops say when they're definitely, without a doubt, something's worth seeing. Thanks a lot for the advice, boys. Last time I checked, it was you who worked for me, not the other way around. Alright, alright, no need to be so damn touchy. What we're saying is that unless you want every passerby in Kabukiko, Kicho stopping to stare at us, you could try zipping it. Zipping it? Is that how you talk to all your employers? You are well aware of who I work for, right? Right? Digging a hole is the least of your worries, so do as I say. Tch, these jobs are the worst. What exactly are you guys doing? All of a sudden, I can't help but wonder what some suit is doing standing by a construction site. Eh, I have, a, have to agree with the little lady on that one. As far as I can tell, we're pulling up a strip of concrete for no damn reason at all. No reason, far from it. Scheduled maintenance requested by the building's owner. There were complaints of people falling or getting hurt because of the uneven pavement, so my employer generously offered her own money to fix it. Maintenance, huh? It seemed perfectly fine to me until we started hacking into it. But you seemed awfully impatient for us to fill it back in. Maybe it's got something to do with that little thing you had wrapped in cloth before. Shut up. Or I'll ask you to dig two more holes after this one. Two more? Oh, I get it. I think that was meant for some sort of threat. Yes, exactly. I mean, what you said wasn't exactly threatening. Honestly, I've heard better. Did he try to imply that he's going to make us cover ourselves in concrete? Kind of a boring threat. Fine, bad joke. But maybe you two should remember you're being paid very generously to be here. So shut it. And you, miss, would you please kindly move along? As you can see, I'm busy enough with these two without any additional distractions. There's another of the uh, cats on that vending machine to the right. But I think I can go ahead and head into the uh, club. The club. Ooh, the uh, controller vibrated there for a second. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and talk to uh, all these people real quick just to make sure that uh, I did everything that I needed to. Do, 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 do. Hoping all this works. If not, I'll be a little upset. Because <laughs> they did say this is the definitive edition of the game. Now, I didn't actually move on with that cutscene just because I was like, oh, I got everything up to this point. And I even got rid of like the glitching where I spawn in the middle of the room and then it flashes and then fades in. Yeah, the, none of that was going on, which was good. There's another cat right here. Yeah. Whoa. Do, 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 do. Uh, waiting for him to duck out. His name was X. Weird. 
I think I made that comment in the PC version. I just assumed it was a glitch, but his name really is just X. I don't really like how they drew on the facial hair for these characters that have it. I just... I don't know, it's really faded, and I know it's an art artistic choice, but it still still feels kind of strange to me. Oh, uh, that also being said, um, there were a few differences that I saw uh, playing the game up to this point, which I can throw in right here. And so those, basically it was the, uh, the opening s section of the game where you were in Kabukicho, or, ah, uh, fuck, I can't remember what it's called at the moment. Uh, the, the main strip where the Butterfly Lounge and Daiso's bar are, uh, and the sewer. sewer. Uh, that area looked like it had some new special effects, which I was uh, commenting on because I could see it kind of here. I want to say this is a little bit more like whitewashed and kind of flashy looking. Uh, another one was I'm pretty sure that the uh, dojo where the Kawana uh, boy was, his dojo actually was an entirely different background altogether. They used a different background and backdrop for it, which I thought was interesting. Alright, we should be back where we were. Ah, uh, sure, I'll go. Oh, Dansa, follow us. Not that we have a choice, right? See, now this is what was supposed to happen that entire time. Welcome, come in. The lady's name is Kasumi. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kasumi Mifune. I appreciate you coming by to talk. Hm. The thugs didn't give me much of a choice. The hell you think you are calling me a thug? We're businessmen, you got that? Oh, I've got it alright, but don't think that dressing in a suit makes you any less of a thug. Say another word, you cop bitch. Enough. You say another word and I'll make you wish you hadn't. Now get out, both of you. Yes, boss. My apologies. The quality of help you can find these days isn't quite up to the standard that it was in my father's time. Wild dogs can be difficult to train, but they'll come around, even if I had to beat it into them. Sit down. Relax. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no thanks. I see. And excuse me while I pour one for myself. Let me skip to the small talk and tell me why I'm here. Seems you're a woman who doesn't like to waste time. Good. As luck would have it, neither am I. Let's get right to it. A short while ago, a couple of men downstairs ran up to me that you, a cop, had walked past my bar and into one of my nightclubs. Then I hear you've been sniffing around asking about one of my investments. Investments? You mean Omega? Smart girl. Tell me, Ayami Ito. Why is it that a cop is going around asking questions like that? More curious still, not just any cop, but a publicly shamed cop on leave. A shamed cop who had a history of... How do they word it? Ah, yes, a history of psychotic episodes. How do you know all that? We all have friends, Detective Ito. And when detectives are wandering around my part of the city, my friends tell me everything I want to know. Honestly, you don't seem all that crazy to me. As to why you're asking after Omega, let's say you've piqued my interest. 
Sorry, look at us. You said no small talk, and here we are, off in the bushes somewhere. Let's get back on track, shall we? As you're not acting in any official capacity, it's safe to say that no one knows you're here, correct? No, I suppose they don't. Hm, in your position, I might have tried to lie, but I appreciate the honesty. It was a rhetorical question anyway. I know for a fact there's no one coming for you. Funny, you don't strike me as the stupid type, and yet you've willingly entered a den of vipers. You valid your neck, staying on your shoulder. Surely you wouldn't do something so reckless. Let's get the threads. If you wanted to do something to me, you'd have done it already. Plus, you're smart enough to know I'm not to hurt a cop, even one in my position. Huh, <laughs> good, I like you. Given your prickly demeanor, I doubt you're working with one of my competitors. And you're definitely not here for your police buddies. Okay, I give up. I have to know. What exactly is it you want to know about Omega? I'm looking for this girl. Her name is Reyna. I was told she was involved with the agency somehow. I want to know what happened to her. How very noble of you. Figuring that out might be a bit difficult, as I'm afraid Omega is an extremely recent acquisition. To go back further, you'll have to talk to its president and former owner, a man named Eiichi Higashi. As it so happens, that makes two of us who'd like to have a word with him. Like peas in a pod, us two. Unfortunately, when he handed over the business, he became a bit... How should I put it? Forgetful about his outstanding debts to us. And the poor thing is so scared of me that he's ignoring all my calls. Probably thinking I'll do something awful to him if I find him. I can't imagine how he'd get that idea, can you? Maybe he'd prefer talking to a police officer instead of me. Not some green recruit. I know how this works by now. What's the catch? You'd never tell me where he was and then send me on my way for nothing. Of course I wouldn't. You'll have to prove that you can be trusted first. There's someone else I need to, to talk to. A bit of a softer target than Higashi. Pretty good deal, right? Everything you're looking for in exchange for one little job. Just one job, right? Oh, don't make this more difficult than it has to be. You'll agree eventually, so why fight it? I know a lot about you. Top of your class, I'm one of the best detectives on the force. You wouldn't let something as pesky as morals get in the way of good information, would you? I've heard about you too, Kasumi Mifune. Or more accurately, I heard a lot about your father. <laughs> as you should. My father was a good man. It's not surprising you know more about him than me. It'll change soon enough. I won't be a footnote in his story much longer. Father always undervalued the power of information, but I really get to know the people I associate with. You, for instance. Everything you've done paints the picture of someone who's very determined and very desperate to find this girl of yours. Don't let people tell you otherwise, detective. But those traits are a wonderful combination. However, it also means you don't have a whole lot of bargaining power right now. If you want to work with me, that's fine. Uh, if you don't want to work with me, that's fine. You can go home and quietly overdose on whatever medication they've got you taking instead. Furthermore, I could just refuse your quest altogether, but that'd be so boring. We both need something, so let's help each other. Do the job I ask, and I'll tell you what I know about the little Higashi. As I was saying, like him, there's another business owner in Akihabara who is unfortunately behind on her payments as well. Such a shame, too. I really wanted a straightforward relationship with this one. May I help out with a few things, in exchange she kicks back a little of her business. Sometimes we send over new contracts to renegotiate the terms of our, of our mutually beneficial relationship. Sadly, she's neglected to sign the newest one. I'm a cop, not some Yakuza debt collector. Do it yourself. <laughs> A suspended cop. You can't parade your badge around as proof that you're some white knight anymore. Due to the recent, uh, transition of power, I can't do it myself just this minute. Dogs at Tokyo Police Headquarters started panting whenever me or my, any of my men are seen outside of Kabukicho. I'm not asking you to club someone's head in. I'm only asking you to give them a friendly reminder to keep up, up to date 
on their uh, paperwork. Easy, right? Here, take it. Do this for me. Feel a lot more comfortable giving out information about Omega. Also, I'll remind you that thanks to your impending review, it would be unseemingly if you got out that you were meeting with Yakuza, wouldn't it? Blackmail, huh? That's such an ugly word. Here, I thought we were becoming friends. I don't know, I'm just stating the facts of the situation. The business you're going to is a cat cafe and... Oh no! I forgot about this. Kazu can give you the address on the way out. Wait, a cat cafe or... Or what? A cat cafe. What else could it be? Well, a cat cafe or a cat made cafe. What? Are we talking cats, cats, or people dressed like cats? Because freaking cat cafe. Actual cats. Adorable, fluffy, precious cats. Why the hell would I invest in some stupid made cafe? Cats. Normal cats. Damn it, now I'm all worked up. Look, get that goddamn contract signed and we'll talk. I don't want to do this. You're going to make me all sad. Okay. Guess we'll go back to Akihabara. Do, 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 do. Oh. It's going to make me all sad. What is she doing involved with the Yakuza? I completely forgot about that plot point. I skipped the cat cafe altogether. Welcome back. I think Tomo remembers you. He must appreciate all your help to make him feel better. I've had to stop deliveries of sashimi, though. Then the smell seems to set off his... bowels. Another quirk added to an already quirky character. <sighs> Maybe it's a sign that you were right about the fish. <laughs> um, listen, we need to talk. Okay, sure. Uh, why the serious face? What's wrong? I'm gonna just ask her out, right? Exactly does the owner of a cat cafe get mixed up with Yakuza? Huh? What do you mean? I met someone recently who gave me a contract with your name on it to sign. I read it and it seems like you owe them quite a bit of money. Why? Well, I've been around this kind of stuff for a long time and I can't figure out how a cat cafe owes that kind of money. Money? Yakuza? Wait. You're working for her? Why? I'm not working for anyone. All I've got is this contract in your name, and I want to know why. Truth is, this place isn't all above board. Or rather, it is, but it wasn't always. I didn't borrow money or anything that stupid. When I was setting up this place, I was just trying to stay above water. But the building owner kept coming by to complain, and then these government types and health inspectors came knocking. Never realized how complicated opening a place like this in Tokyo could be. All those rules and regulations. All I ever wanted was to help out the kitties and make people happy. Then she came by, someone who loved cats as much as I did. She offered to help me smooth things over with everyone. I mean, I saw the tattoos and everything, but I don't think you should judge people because of how they look. I still don't. There was no way I was going to stay open and keep my kitties if I didn't get help fast. So I accepted her offer and things got pre better pretty quickly after that. The only owner stopped complaining and all the permits fell into my lap. Maybe you think I was stupid, most of cats here would be sh Ah, strays are dead if I didn't accept her help. I accidentally hit my, uh, headphones. Ow. For a while, I thought I'd been saved by a guardian angel. After all, she loved the cats and was kind and friendly towards me. It's been quiet, too. The business with Tomo's bowels was the first instance I've had in months. About two months after accepting her help, when I was closing up shop, some men showed up with a contract like the one you're holding. They said it was for services rendered or something like that. It wasn't much at that time, so I signed it. I owed her a lot after all, and it, I was doing pretty well. Only, they kept coming back, and every time they came back, they had a new contract. Every contract wanted more and more money. It's gotten out of hand. I can't keep up anymore. Assume you won't even see me to talk about it. You didn't really think you'd get a favor from the Yakuza for nothing, did you? I wasn't being greedy, you know. I thought she was trying to help. Helping the only way she knows how.
please, you have to help me. The amount of money they've asked for is out of hand. I'm doing well for now, but if they get their way, I'll go out of business. You have to tell Kasumi. Please, tell her that if this place closes and all these cats, there'll be no place for them to go. The poor kitties. They be put down. I can't support them myself. I don't think animal services would let me keep them. I couldn't live with myself if that happened. I'm begging you, Ito. Don't do this. Uh, I can't make her sign this. <sighs> Don't sign, I, I'll help. Damn it, it doesn't matter what I need from her, I can't make you sign this in good conscience. Hooray, I knew good would prevail in the end, thanks. How'd you get mixed up with that woman anyway? I need some information from her. You should be careful, I don't know about her, but her thugs are dangerous. Last time they were here, I heard them talking about having to teach a girl from another cafe a lesson or something. It makes me feel sick thinking about it. What else would you expect from guys like that? Breaking legs is probably all they're capable of outside of grunting and drinking. Call me naive, but I don't get how someone could be so two-faced. When I started seeing her in the papers lately, I couldn't believe it. Surely that ruthless woman that you were talking about couldn't be the Kasumi I knew. So I thought... I guess it's like you said, a tiger can't change its stripes, right? Huh, maybe so. At any rate, you should probably be more careful about who you trust in the future. Sorry, I didn't mean to get you wrapped up in all this. But thank you for not making me sign. So what's your plan? I'm not sure if I really have one. Maybe I can appeal to her kinder side. If she really is a cat lover, I'm sure she wouldn't want to see the little guys hurt, right? Oh no, I've really gone and got myself in trouble, haven't I? Maybe I should go instead. The contract was given to me, so I better deal with it myself. Plus, I get the impression that being confined by the cops hasn't put her in a great mood. I'm sure you don't agree, but I still think there's something something good in her. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if she'd be doing all these things if she didn't grow up in that life. And all the kitties loved her when they played with her. Cats are such good judges of character. Somehow don't think her treatment of animals correlates too well with her treatment of people. I'm starting to feel a little queasy thinking about going back there without the contract signed. Damn it, Ayami. You've really gotten yourself into one this time, haven't you? No point in dwelling on it now. I've made my mind up. I can't run Yakuza Depth collect so Collection just because I'm in a tight spot. Take care. Don't worry. My kitties were never wrong in judging someone's character. Yeah, sure. Think of something, but I need you to lie low and maybe close up shop for a while until I sort this out. Yeah, this is not going to end well at all. Son of a bitch. But, uh, anywho, that has been 30 minutes, so hopefully this recording is good. If not, I'll have uh, some backtracking to do. Hey, what are you doing here? Go back. Okay, Tomo's following us. Honestly, little one, I don't want you to get hurt. Go home. Um, but anywho, in the next episode, I will continue on and hopefully get out of this Yakuza confrontation and uh, continue on with the rest of the game. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all then. Thank mm -hmm. you.